multi-parameter monitors that we have there are a couple in the range uh, they vary slightly but I'm going to show you kind of briefly what they look like when they're turned on and a couple of features that each of them have the first monitor that I'm going to look at in this video is the it's part of the touch series so this is an iris touch 400 this one has integrated in it with, and it comes with your sensors and your probes for uh, ECG, blood pressure, temperature, and SpO2. The only one that it doesn't come with is capnograph, so entitled CO2, but uh, lots of clinics do opt in to have that added in because it is a really good tool. So with this machine and all the other monitors, you can buy a trolley like this and you can wheel it around to wherever you need it in your hospital. Say you need it in surgery, but then you need it out in your hospital area, say if you've got a critical patient that you need your multi-parameter for. Um, you can attach it onto the bracket here and you can wheel it around nice and easily. So this monitor I like because it's nice and small, it's got a handle on the top here and it's just nice and easy and not too bulky. Uh, but I'm just going to show you how it looks when you turn it on in demo mode. So easy, on off button down here on the bottom. So this is the machine when it's turned on, it's come up here that my printer is out of paper, which it is, I haven't installed the paper on that one. Um, but I'm going to go to options and just show you how it runs in demo mode. So I'm just going to the options button down here, normal function, and scrolling down to demo mode. It's all touch screen, so it's nice and easy. We test all these machines on a simulator before they go out to clinic as well. So they are just checking that every single component is working accurately. If it was to pick up a fault or just a normal reading, we need to know before sending it out because it's, you know, monitoring a patient while they're under anesthetic or if they're in a critical condition so it needs to be spot on which we are very thorough for so looking at the monitor here so we've got heart rate up here this is all kind of normal parameters as well so heart rate up here it's sitting at 60 spo2 is 100 respiratory rate is 20 we've got our blood pressure here which looks nice and down in here we've just got our temperature a couple of other things that these machines, all these machines that I'm going to show you do come with, is they all have SunTech technology. So that is the colourful type of blood pressure cuffs. They're all different colours. It also has Massimo technology as well, which is your SpO2, which is pretty common. Okay, I'm going to show you the next monitor now. So this one is called a VitaView 10. 10 means it's 10 inches, and I've got a 15 over here as well that I'm going to show you, which I... I'm obsessed with that one. So this one is a little bit bigger. This is the Vitaview 10. This is definitely the most common, um, the most popular one that we've got. This one is just gives you a little bit more screen space and you are able to change the layout of where your parameters sit uh, depending on you or depending on your clinic, whatever you kind of prefer. But I'm going to show you how we kind of set this up. This one is the exact same uh, monitoring wise. So it does your temperature, blood pressure, SpO2 and ECG and it has the adaptability to add in your capnograph so your entitled CO2 which most clinics do and I would highly recommend. So with this one as well it's it is touchscreen but it also has a couple of buttons on the side and this is how we're going to navigate through the menu. This one has like the other one it's got a nice big handle on the top and you can adapt it to this trolley as well so it's nice and fitted and secure. As you can see, you've got a lot more screen space going this way and a lot more options down the bottom as well. Um, but similar, similar type of layout and similar type of font and things like that. So what I'm going to do is go to menu. So options on the side here, we've got alarm pause, freeze. So if you wanted to just freeze the results that are showing so you can keep a track or a trend or keep them for the patient record. Um, you've got record, so that's going to record. And you can put print paper in this one as well and print out your results, say for your ECG. Um, Non-invasive blood pressure, so that's what you would press when you're ready for your cuff to inflate. And we've got a menu button down here. So I'm going to go menu. And I'm going to scroll through using this little nozzle. You just press it in to select and scroll down. So it gives you a nice trace. Blood pressure down here. Heart rate, SpO2, respiratory rate, temperature. This was the Vitaview 10 and now I'm going to show you the Vitaview 15. Look how cool this is. It's like a full on TV. This would be perfect if you were in like a hospital where you needed to kind of have multiple people looking at the results. Which, and I love the design on this as well. Like it's actually like a big laptop. So it's got that nice big handle on it. 
um, adapter here. You can, it's actually also got a port which you can connect to a larger monitor, like a TV, if you needed to have it up for any reason, which is super cool. So this one has, again, like the Iris, it has no buttons. It's completely touch screen. It's got one button down here for on and off. With this one, obviously the view on it is amazing. And so let's have a look at a couple of the different screen options. So current screen is standard, so ECG full screen. So if you had a heart patient and you needed a full ECG trace that you were gonna record and whatnot, how cool is that? So similar to the other ones, we've got our full ECG, heart rate, SpO2, respiratory rate, temperature, blood pressure. If we wanted to change the screen again, Let's go ECG, let's go big font. Say if you couldn't really see, you've got bad vision like myself, wow. If you wanted to change the options on the patient, so if it's a cat or it's a dog, so we go to animal, I wanna change it, it's got it down as a horse at the moment, which it is not. I wanna change it to a dog. Um, you can put in your patient ID, so you can track it on their patient file, put in the name, weight, anything like that. Channel will type calls the configuration changes. Yes, thank you. Now, if we wanted to change the layout, you can completely customize this. So you could honestly just put it however you wanted. So you just press on here, ECG, replace it to temperature. So if you wanted that up the top, or I wanted my ECG up the top. Replace, just remove. So you can remove things that you don't want, replace, I want my SBO2 up the top. Okay, save layout. And so I've got my SPO2 up here now. You can change the brightness, we can up it, we can put it down. And like I said, with all these, it's got ECG, temperature, blood pressure, SPO2, and you can add in your capnograph as well, which I think that capnograph used to not be as common, like people weren't really monitoring it, but I think now it is a vital component of anesthetic monitoring. Yo, 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 yo.